a man of letters, in every sense, not merely as one who etches to others in ink on parchment beneath the irregular orbiting feather, but in the way each nervous tick shakes the very alpha, the beta, from his being. As a boy he scrapes the sodden street on hands and knees, strains to detect the ditch beneath B for blindness, breathes out the S for scrofula, hears the D drone of deafness on the left side of his head and begins to sense an order to it all. As a man, the O of his hunger, the V of the crooked arm he writes with, the unpronounceable hieroglyphics of a facial scar all become grist, noun, grain for grinding, to the mill, noun, building containing machinery which grinds. From Samuel Johnson's candy floss wig, from his coat, boots, flesh, bone and marrow, tumble more than just the letter of law. Instead, a scattered alphabet of architecture, literature and religion, science and medicine, chemistry, trade, poetry and politic, falls free. In glory or in grief, in play and in prayer, words scarcely fail him, and at the close, not as mad as necessary to brave life's last adventure, he braves it just the same, dilutes the prescribed opium, and ceases to be extraordinary, finds as we all have, or will, the resolution to death's great mystery in one defining moment.